I thought I'll do a video on how to set up the Clipsal Wiser Iconic Bluetooth slash Zigbee switches. This is the 10 amp switch I've just installed. Let me show you. Let me show you what it looks like as well. So that's it there. Um, just got these, fitted them all across my house and I thought, let me do a video to show you how these works. Now note, this is the Bluetooth default version. Oh, let's get that back here. There it is there. So let me show you how I got this set up. Now the first thing you gotta do is you need to open up the Wiser app from Clipsal and you gotta set the item into pair mode. So three times, click on edit, add new device, and then boom, pair it. give it a name so I want to call this back side right the room is outside now because it comes default in Bluetooth mode I need to switch it over to Zigbee mode so I can make it work with Homebridge then Apple HomeKit so let me just click it done okay it adds in there now this is the Bluetooth default Clipsal switches. To switch it over to Zigbee, you may need to um, move it into or change it into uh, Zigbee mode. Now, to do that, you need to probably update the firmware. I'll just show you that it's working in Bluetooth. Okay. Um, and to change it or to update the firmware, you go advanced, device info. Okay, oh, I'll just go back again and show you what you do. Advanced, device info, and you update the firmware, click yes. Now it should take a few minutes to update. Now while that's updating, I'll just confirm. So out of the box, they come Bluetooth as default. To make it uh, into Zigbee mode, you need to update the firmware and then flick it over to Zigbee mode and I'll show you how. Then I'll show you how I've got it running with Homebridge and HomeKit uh, and I've done that via a Conbi 2 stick in my Raspberry Pi. It's just update now on this clipsal switch while that's updating still let me show you that's the uh, iconic clipsal switch so still updating normally takes about three to five minutes to update just put my that There. Um, I, I thought I'll do this video just to help out everyone who else is having issues setting these things up because I couldn't find much data or info on setting up on the Clips or website. Okay, so it's updating. And I've probably installed so far over 20 in my house. I've probably got another 20 to go. I've done two gang and three gang. Um, these are the 10 amp versions, so they're fairly big. I've had to do some chiseling out 
for some other lights I'm looking at doing the 2 amp version okay there you go okay firmware updated and there you go so you can see the light still works now it works on the app because it's in Bluetooth mode um, and what I want to do now I'm gonna go to my Conbi software that I've got installed and I think it was four there we go so that's my Combi software running on my Raspberry Pi click on here now you can probably see if I just go to lights here are all the previous lights I've set up I've even got an exhaust fan in there which has got the wrong icon but I'll work that out later so now to add lights you need to put the device or the switch into Zigbee mode. To do that, you gotta push it 12 times at a consistent rate, so we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, you should see that now flick. Okay, there you go. It's now gonna reboot into Zigbee mode. Okay, I'll just wait for that to get done. And what you can do, in parallel, you can hit this button on the Conbi Foscon app, and click Add New Lights. And when it turns orange, that means it's almost in pairing mode. Now you'll see it go orange. And that means it's now flicked over to Zigbee mode and it's in automatic Pairing there we go. It's on off light. I'll edit that. There we go. It's flicking just to tell you that it's um, active, and I'll call this side back light. And done. There it is. There. Now, if I go to HomeKit, you'll see here are some of the lights that I've added in. You'll see it's not here, but if I go to HomeBridge, log into HomeBridge, okay. And then if I restart the Homebridge software, once this restarts, okay. If I now go back to HomeKit, give it a few seconds updating. Once it comes back online, you'll see that light pop up. Ah, there we go. So it's it was called side backlight there. There it is there. So let's show you the light. Thought I'll do it at night. It's pretty impressive. Um, any questions? Let me know. I can also add more uh, videos or tutorials, but. To confirm, this is the Clipsal Wiser um, switches. This is the 10 amp version running on, or connected to the Zigbee ConB2 gateway plugged into my Raspberry Pi, which is running Homebridge, and then that's connected to my HomeKit. Thanks.